now we will develop a 3d domain for the simulation as we can see the previous problem we have this flow over a cylinder problem and in the left side of the slide you can see the domain and its parameters so the domain is based on the cylinder diameter d which is one inch and the length of the domain is right now 60d and the width of the domain is 20d and the length of the cylinder right now is 10d so we will try to draw this 3d domain in ANSYS geometry module so first what you have to do first you have to select your xy plane and make it normal now go to sketch this is a sketch you can rename it to cylinder 3d and now go to sketch select the circle and when this point comes to P you can draw the circle so now this is the circle you can dimension it the diameter is one inch here so we will give the diameter of this circle one inch so this is the circle and we will generate it so now this is the circle so this is the 2d circle we have to make this circle as a 3d cylinder to do that we have to do this extrude operation on this circle so select this cylinder and go to extrude now in extrude operation here in the detail view you can see the detail of this operation our base object is our cylinder sketch we can add material here or we can add frozen to this 3d object we can give the direction of the extrusion we can give it to normal or we can change it its direction here if you select normal it will extrude in z direction here if you select reverse it will extrude in negative z direction if you go to both symmetric it will extrude in both sides and if you want different direction let's say for positive z axis you want different height and negative z axis you want different height you can also select that by this direction both axis symmetric but in our problem we have the height of the cylinder is 10d so if we extrude from the center of the cylinder and it's a symmetric extrusion then in both sides the extrusion will be 5d so we will do that so we will select both symmetric and here you can see FDI this is the depth or the height of the extrusion right now it's 12 inch so we will give it 5 so in both direction it will extrude 5 inch so total it will be 10 inch and then here is the YOLO sign so it's asking for the generate option so select the generate and now it will generate so this is our cylinder our 3d cylinder and here in the part and body option you can see there is one part and one body right now okay now we have to make our domain here so the domain is a little bit tricky here so we extrude our cylinder at the mid xy plane with the same process we will extrude our domain also so if you see the 2d view of the domain the length of the domain is 60d and the center is the cylinder center 
and the width of the domain is 20d but the height of the domain is also 20d so for that when we will extrude our extrusion will be from the middle so from this middle point the extrusion will be 10d in the positive z axis and 10d in the negative z axis so let's do that so go to xy plane make it normal and then go to sketch this is the sketch rename it to domain domain 3d go to sketch tab and select the rectangle and first of all draw a rectangle you can draw any rectangle then we will give dimension so go to dimension select general select the horizontal line h2 h2 will be 60d so 60 inch and here the width will be 20d so b3 will be 20 inch now it's not in the center so we will take this circle at the center of our domain the same process we did in the 2d domain select the horizontal dimension option select the center of the circle as you can see this cursor the the rectangle section is getting as a point and this indicates now it's time to select the center so select here and select this point and this point now so this is 60d overall dimension so it will be 30d 30 inch and for the vertical distance it will be 10d so select this point and this point and b5 will be 10 so now it's in the center so now we will extrude this domain in both direction because our height of the domain is 20d and we are drawing our domain 2d domain at the center of this cylinder so the extrusion will be symmetric and in positive z direction the extrusion will be 10d and in negative z direction the extrusion will be 10d so we will do that so we will go to generate option we will generate the sketch we will select the domain and we will go to extrusion this extrusion 2 it will ask you to add material we will keep it at frozen direction will be both symmetric and depth would be 10d so 10 inch go to generate and generate so now you can see your 3d domain has been generated and inside that domain you have the cylinder now here the most important part is now you have two part and two body this body is the cylinder you can rename rename it to cylinder and this body is your domain you can rename it to domain So now you have both cylinder and domain your domain the type of this material type is solid change it to fluid generate it now you can see more clearly so this domain is your fluid and the cylinder is solid so we don't want that cylinder inside that domain because fluent will just work with the fluid option and it will not take the solid cylinder it will take the wall at the outside of the solid cylinder so just like the 2d domain when we develop the 2d domain and cut the rec circular cylinder from the rectangular domain we will do the same operation here and we will cut this solid cylinder from this fluid domain to do that we will use this boolean option 
So go to boolean. This boolean we want subtraction. So go to subtraction. Now the target body is the body from where you want to cut something. So our target body is our domain. So select domain here, apply. Our tool body is the cylinder that the thing we want to cut. Select cylinder, apply and it will ask you to generate. So generate. Now you can see there is one part, one body that's the fluid domain and inside there is nothing but the void space. So this is the 3D domain, how we can develop the 3D domain. In the next tutorial, we will see how to import external geometry from external drawing software and many more options of drawing module. Thank you.